Hello everybody, it's me, Alex, or the Monkey Pickler here, and today we're in the 3.62 PT, uh, PTU, looking at the 890 jump and start. This is by far the largest ship currently in Star Citizen at over 200 meters long, I think, at this point. So this is going to be a long video. If you don't know about Star Citizen, it's a... Um, it's a space sim game that's currently in development, currently in alpha stage, we're in alpha 3.6.2 right now. The whole point of this game is to be, at some point, fully persistent universe, where you can fly across the universe with no, in, uh, with no, um, what do you call it, load screens or anything like that. You've got these massive ships that you can walk around and interact with hundreds of players, possibly at one point. And this is currently the biggest ship. It's also by far the most expensive. Um, I think it costs exactly $190, uh, and it's only offered maybe once or twice a year, I think. Very small numbers. Um, however, I have it here in the PTU today, so that we can take a look at it and uh, maybe give a basic review. It's currently not entirely finished, as it is the PTU, the public test universe, if you didn't know that. This is, um, it's still got some missing textures inside, and if you look underneath, there's some holes sometimes, depending on the landing gear. Like if you look here, the landing gear isn't flush with the side of the ship. It kind of just, it's, you can see inside the ship. That shouldn't be there. Just a couple of general bugs. Sometimes the HUDs glitch out, you can't use it. The battle bridge doesn't work yet, but we'll get to that in a minute. Right now we're just going to do a tour. And if you're looking to get into Star Citizen, I'm going to have my, um, what do you, my uh, referral code link, link down below. It'll give you 5,000 free monies in game. And I just blew up the ship. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. Um, you know, as I said, PTU is the test server. Uh, it is broken a lot. A lot of stuff is buggy. However, it should be mostly fixed by release, which should be. I'd say in about a week or two. I'm thinking of probably a week. Um, so here we are on the bottom deck of the ship. You know, this is size comparison. This is the ground bay hangar. There are two hangars on the ship: a ship hangar and a cargo bay slash vehicle hangar. This has a you know, as you can see here, the big vehicle bay. It's got multiple elevator controls. You can set an elevator down. It has an airlock too, so when it goes down, you don't got unairlocked. As you see, it's about to close before space enters. And this is the biggest vehicle bay currently in the game. It can fit, it's the only current vehicle that can fit an Anvil Ballista. So I guess if you the pay to win players get to um, put an Anvil Ballista in here, drive, fly this thing out to um, right outside on Levski or something and just sit there and wait because it's the only ship that can carry one, but yeah, whatever. There's only like 20 people with this anyway. Um, so you see this hangar over here is like, I'm pretty sure the reactor core or the engine, you know, oh, shield generator, okay. Got some cool spinny stuff. It doesn't really do anything yet. Can't act or interact with anything yet. That's fine. I'm assuming these panels will open at some point. You'll be able to access them, life support. I still probably have not found everything on this ship yet. I have spent probably close to an hour looking around it. Like here's the jump drive. It's all capital. It's a capital. It counts as a capital ship, so these are very high-end components. Here we got engine room one. There's another one on the other side, so it's got two full engines. It's pretty nice. And here's an elevator that'll take you up through. This is more like a crew elevator. In the ship, you have crew elevators and you have like passenger elevators. You know the. It's meant to be a luxury tour, so the passenger elevators will be carrying passengers, like your high value. This will be for the, the richest of people, so you wouldn't have, you know, the you don't want the crew taking elevator, the same elevator as like your billionaire, you know, just like on like a normal yacht. So here, are the crew elevators will take you up. Um, this is kind of like the second floor-ish kind of thing. Um, it's a little bit higher than the cargo bay, and that's because um, if you look at the ship, 
dips down to the back. So here we have this U shape. There's two doors on each side. You can see, and here are the elevators that we saw downstairs. We'll start on the left side. This is the um, what do you call it? The weapons room. Pretty much, she's got a bunch of weapons. You can see the size of crew required for this ship. You know, you could have like. Uh, four guns each rack, you know, you could have like a whole crew, like this could be like, you know, Star Wars Tent of Force scene, you got like, all your guys come here, and, um, cause there are airlocks on this, like say a ship wants to board you, you could have like your whole crew arm up and have like a huge boarding party, like fight. So this is the guest, like one of the guest elevators. So this ship is a hangar, so let's say a guest lands in a hangar, they can come down here. It will, they'll get escorted over here, they can get sent up to the main room. So keep going, keep going, keep going. Here is the med bay. Um, it's currently the only ship with a med bay. It doesn't currently function, but you can lay down on it. I won't lay down on it just in case it kills me. Um, mirrors, no reflections yet, just simulated already, but those should be coming at some point. But. When medical gameplay does interact, I think you'll be able to respawn here or something. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. Anyway, this is like your waiting area. You know, let's say you over here is the hangar airlock. So let's say you land here and you like your um, 85x. Like this ship has 85x's. They use you could use those like a taxi. Like you know, you pick up like a high value target or, or high value person. Maybe not high HVI high value individual. They sit down, you know, you sit here, They you wait for the ship to be ready, or like a crew member to come get you. Um, this brings us into the hangar. You can see, I think these are the mag crates. You can, the crates will get stored here. The ship has a lot of SU cargo, so I think it's like 400 or something. But um, as you can see, we've got an, a bay here. You know, we can go, we can ride on it. It'll lift us up opens up. It's, this is an airlocked area as you see there, so um, you might you'll always want to wear a spacesuit in here just in case it pressurizes. This opens up. Then the bay lifts. You could probably store maybe up to even a retaliator or a freelancer for sure. I'm almost certain a freelancer. A cutlass black I'm pretty sure would fit back here. Vanguard Warden, Hoplite. You could put a Vanguard um, Harbinger in here and use it as like a torpedo bay launcher, torpedo t bomber launcher, or like some um, gladiators. Like this could be like a cool little mini carrier for now. Like it's for now, because there's not any ship like it. This would be like the bat. This is like the ca aircraft carrier right now, like the mini carrier, or like I guess like a amphibious. Like a, it could. Be oh, this is a amphibious assault ship right now. I think the ones the Marines use. You've got the vehicle bay in the back for deploying troops. You've got this huge hangar. You can put in like a some like fighters, bombers, whatever you want really. And you've got some pretty powerful turrets. This is an elevator that takes you up to a turret. Let's take it up. Uh, turret access. See, I think it's the only shipping game that has a elevator that leads to a turret. <laughs> so you get $390. You look here, you got a turret, I think some size, I think it's two size fours or fives or... Let's take a little look, look-see. So, you know, you see it's a big turret. You wouldn't want to brawl with this for sure. It's got some missiles and it's got a lot of turrets, but it's such a big ship. It's not easy to hit. You know, a retaliator comes up behind you. You know, you're pretty boned. Um. Anyway, power. Where is the? Okay. There we go. Just gonna leave. Got beautiful animations. Like the modelers here are at start at um who work for starts on the game are some of the best, like, I only put praise for them. Go back down to the hangar. There's another turret for the bottom of the ship over, 
at the end. There's two man turrets on the ship, and I think four point defense turrets, like light turrets, you know, just a bunch of little ones. And you had like you get size three missiles as well. Oh, I forgot to mention you got a you get a basketball court, you know, you get a whole half court. Play some basketball. Here, turret. Okay. So this other side of the ship is more uh what do you call it? Crew oriented, battle oriented. The other side was for like a person entrance from the hangar, like that's the high value of individuals. Here you have EVA suits, in case it depressurizes or you need to go out. There, the rec room, got a pool table, and I guess for storing drinks. Nice table. Like this room here is nicer than most ships in the game. That's how. This ship is so nice, the crew. Like, look at these bedrooms for the crew. This is better than, like, <laughs> these crew rooms are better than the Constellation Phoenix's rooms. That's a $400 ship. Like, look at this. I mean, they're all nice. There's, like, six of them, too, I think. Seven. So you get seven people sleeping at a time. I mean, I guess you did hot bunking, you get even more. You got three bathrooms. Again, nicer bathrooms than most ships. Most ships don't even have full bathrooms. Like, this is like... This ship is more footprint than a Mustang Beta. <laughs> okay, well, as you hear, there's this nice, beautiful marble... I think marble countertop with some beautiful chairs. Taking pretty much like a bigger version of the 600 eyes. And a huge um, table with a... or table couch with a um, TV. Okay, I guess I can take damage there, that's fine. Over here we have a small like, you know, fruit prep area, I guess for like, uh, make some drinks. Uh, microwave, I think. I don't know. All just high-tech stuff, you know. Stuff that doesn't work yet. Oh, that's the nice one. Okay, so now we're coming into the really beautiful part of the ship. This is the kitchen. Like, this this is like no kitchen ever before seen in Star Citizen. Like the 600i, I thought had a pretty amazing kitchen, but this is like this is nicer than my home. <laughs> Got a big giant sink. It's not a bendy, not a bendy sink though. You can't aim it anywhere else, so most of the sinks useless. But you know, I guess in the future people are still dumb. Uh, nice big oven range. No oven, unless this is an oven. Maybe that is. You never know. Maybe you don't need it here. Got like a spices rack. More spices, you know, just general kitchen stuff. I'm assuming these are all panels that opened at some point. And then here, the first walk-in fridge. Like this is like pretty beautiful. Got temperature control. And then over here, here is like the um this is the, the elevator that takes goes up to the restaurant or the spa, you know. Say you order a drink and you want it at the spa, like someone here will come down, pull out the, you know, the 2,000 year old wine bottle and take it up to you. Okay, so, here, yeah, we've gone full circle. On this set we have the crew escape pods pretty much, just small little pods meant for crew escape. The passenger escape vehicles are on the upper decks. The one thing I noticed that I can definitely complain about on this ship is all the escape pods are on the bottom floor. Like all the escape pods. If you're on the bridge, like I mean the battle, like there's a, um, if you're on the bridge and the ship takes critical damage, you are kind of dead because first of all it's all glass and then yeah. But here's the battle bridge pretty much. This is like if you have the chance to, you like evacuate down here and then you command the ship from here because it's metal and sealed in. So if the upstairs depressurizes and gets hit, because it's glass, it could take it, you technically could take it out with one ballista cannon hit. You could um, you'll be able to run it. It currently does not function yet. However, it should be functioning by release, so don't worry. These are two co-pilot are not co-pilot, more gunner, you know, radio transmission shit. And that brings us to the end of the first floor. I'm sorry if I've gone too fast, people. It's just a big ship. And, um, yeah, okay. Let's get up to the second floor. Do 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 do. We'll take the crew elevator so we can start in the back. Do do do. I think this one takes us there. I don't know. You can also take up the, uh, um, stair. There's our, what do you call them? 
ladders. Uh, and okay, I guess it wants me to take another ladder. That will, the ladder is pretty much just, um, uh, whatever, in case you lose power, if they hit, if they hit the engine, you're floating duck, you need to get to the emergency station or the engineering stations. So, this is the second floor, this is like the main floor, or pretty much the entrance to the, cr like, where the crew areas are pretty much stopped. Like, this is where the luxury begins, fully. Here, this is the passenger escape raft, so pretty much you have a lot of people on board. You get in here. This is like if you've ever seen, like, you know, a cruise ship, those escape boats, you know, like a little, just a little cool little raft. It's air sealed. Probably got provisions in there for a couple days. Like, this is, so if you think about it, the, um, the six, the, the 100 eye is your fast luxury ship. You know, like your, your Audi, your Audi TT, you know, just a nice little ship. The 300 eye is like your luxury camper, you know, like those Mercedes uh, uh, vehicles or like a big RV, you know, like it, it's, an, it's like a nice little luxury, like a touring car or something. The 600i is a yacht, like, you know, it's like, that's like your little yacht, like your personal yacht, your party yacht, your millionaire's yacht, and then this bad boy, the 890 jump is your super yacht, this is Russian billionaire style. Well, anyway, on the other side, there's another raft. There's two rafts. I think that accommodates like six, eight people each. Um, we're currently on the spa slash pool deck. This is the, the main area. You can see, like, you come in. This would be like, you know, a nice desk where you can relax. In the front is the... This is the main entrance. This, you remember that elevator that killed me? This is the main entrance. This is where, like, if you're docked on a spaceport, that's where main people come in. You got docking collars, airlocked docking collars. They come in EVA suits, maybe an ex yeah EVA suits. <coughs> Need to defend the ship. You'll probably be defending from there. Okay, well we'll start with the spa. We'll start front to back. I think. I think this is the front. Maybe it's the back. I don't know. Anyway, so you come in on your right. You have two saunas. You can steam yourself out. I'm assuming when the game releases, they'll give you like effects, like personal things, or just for status symbols. You got two showers with a little changing area. Um, the privacy is a little lackluster because you could just walk by here and just see someone naked. Which for a luxury ship, I'd be like, ah, that's a little sketchy, but whatever. On the left, there is a hot tub that actually has water in it. It's the only water in the game that won't kill you. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think you could sit too. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we can. Oh, okay. That's 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 pretty buggy, but okay. Take a nice screenshot of the Reddit. <laughs> okay, let's get out. Ooh, it was a nice shower. <laughs> this water, though, this little waterfall, though. Ooh, oh, it's a wall. Okay, that's why you can walk through it. It'd be cooler if it was a waterfall, but mm. here are two elevators. I'll just I think this this one's from the kitchen. That's the hangar one, the one we saw. On the left here, there again two changing rooms. Again, not much privacy. So if you need to get naked, I guess you're like screwed. All right, again, two more. And then here is the, I think my favorite part of the ship, the swimming pool. Like, <laughs> it can be underwater. It just looks beautiful. Like this is a truly beautiful ship. I mean, the water will get a redo when they add swimming. So, if it looks a little weird right now, yes, it does. It'll get finished. We got lawn chairs. They're made of wood. Not launch, you know what I mean. You've seen pool chairs, everyone has. Um, it's where there was a bathroom here. I guess there's the bath, I guess there's the thing, the, the things, whatever. Okay, so let's look at the rooms. They're all identical except for the captain's quarters, and they're bigger than most ships, as you can see. Um, Pretty much this is equivalent to the captain's quarters on the 600i. 
pretty much the next most luxurious ship in the game. It's got a huge bed. It's got this light wall. I'm assuming at some point you'll be able to like change what it's that it shows like outside the space or something because that much light is pretty blinding and I wouldn't want that in my room per se. Um, if you come in here again, a lot of lighting walls. <laughs> Beautiful ass toilet with a weird um, with like granite backing. Some hangers and then these bathtubs. The first bathtubs in Star Citizen actually. You know, you can take a bath or a nice shower. Like, look at this. You can have literally water fall from the entire shower if you want, I think. Like, who wouldn't want that? I want that. <laughs> you definitely see why they made this ship is... They put a lot of love and care into this ship. And if I could ever get my hands on one one day, it's not the PTU. I would love it. <laughs> Okay, so we covered the second floor, now we're going to go up to the second to last floor. This is the dining floor, pretty much. This is like where you have your big parties, you know, this is the creme de la creme. Like, this is like the, pretty much the biggest like, party area you can currently have in Star Citizen, and probably you ever will get until maybe like some bigger ships come out. But here again, we have another room. This one's got I think, some modern art that wasn't in the others. These might be like slightly more expensive rooms. However, there's really no difference. They're all practically the same. Just on different sides. I'll even prove it to you. See? Pretty nice though. I love the interior. It's such a beautiful ship. No function yet because there's no VIP transporting, but I guess you can transport people and make them pay. And you could use it as a cargo transport. If you look here, it's got some nice toilets in case people who aren't on the ship, who aren't living on the ship, want to use them and aren't crew. And don't want to have to go down like, you know, they're still rich people. As you come here, this is a huge bar with a lot of tables for sitting at and looking out into space. Look up here, you can watch the game, watch pretty much anything on these TVs. Um, here, host a giant party for your org, you know, the usual. <laughs> I don't know if there's many single play people out there who own this, however, I mean, I want it and I don't have a um, org yet, so, eh. I mean, I do have an org, but no one's in it. <laughs> if you're a huge bar, completely stocked, at some point they will be allowing you to um, drink and stuff. I think that's, maybe even this year I've heard that you'll have to, like, eat and drink, so you never know. Carry glasses, oh. I'm gonna take this bottle of wine. Mm, actually, I think it's champagne. I'll put that away. It's mine now. Okay, so this was the bar. Now we're getting into the the eating dining room. Like this was like the bars we could go any day, but then here's like they have like the dining hours. You know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. And here you just have some nice tables. I guess families aren't allowed because it's only two people, or it gets no weddings currently. I'd like to see some bigger tables, but I guess there's the big tables in the bar area, but I'm thinking there could have been a booth or two on the side here. And then in the back is the main conference table. Like this is where your org, you know, like your if you're like like a mob boss org, you bring together all your dons and you sit you sit at the end of the table. This is where the head of the table I'm assuming, because it's at the corners. I guess the other one on the end could be too, but you just have your huge um, meetings here. I think at some point there's supposed to be something that's in the middle, like a like hologram or something, but don't quote me on that. And then another cool feature is you see, it looks like I've showed everything here, you know. Nothing over here, you got some bars, but over here we have the... This is the crew, this is the elevator for the spa pool that goes out to the kitchen. So pretty much you come up here, you got some hot plates, you know. Maybe the chef, like the head chef would be here, you know, he would like plate, plating the food. You can see the hot plates, or maybe he already plated it. But you can see there's plates here and stuff, so it looks like it's plated and stuff here. Um, but it'll come up, it's plated, gets ready, sent out to customers by waiters. And that is this floor. It's a small floor because if you see, the front of the ship is taken up pretty much entirely by um, the, the 
hangar bay. So you don't have much diesel space until you get back. Um, in the, it's the higher you go. So this is the top floor. This you pretty much just have a bunch of viewing decks. You can come up here. You can just look at the sky. Like this is beautiful. You know, you cruise. You just sit here. What would be cool is that if it's if you're in atmosphere that's breathable, if you could like open up the windows or something, that would be cool. But that's that's probably too hard for them to do. Anyway, in the front of the ship, you got the bridge. In my opinion, the bridge is a little Spartan. You got some cubby holes on the side. I wish these would have been um, skate pods, so if you're here, you can immediately eject. But I guess if you're the captain, you can make sure all your people get off first anyway. But or maybe like some weapons here, like the bridge, the ship's boarded, and you need some weapons here to you know hold the line. Or I don't know. There should be more seats too, like more navigators. Like there's only three seats in this huge cockpit. You got two gunners. This one's not usable yet. Um, oh, you got this. Like, I guess there could be there should be like a seating. Like a, it should be like a, I think there should be a chair here, and maybe a chair over here or two over here to see if like a more I don't know. It just seems a little Spartan for a cruise ship. Anyway, yeah, if you all, if you, I don't know if you've all thought, but at the point we haven't seen the the, the, the captain's quarters or the um, or the VIP. This is the VVIP room. I guess maybe the triple VIP room. This is the most VIP room in the ship. You've got waiting areas here, just for you know waiting. Um, a huge view, a beautiful view of the back of the ship. You can see pretty much anything out there. And then if you go right or left, I guess, the right side of the ship, you get to his office, or the, you know, the office. You've got a tablet here, your computer or something. You sit, you talk in private, like say you don't want to have a big meeting, you, or you want to, you know, some shady dealings going on. That's where you go. Then if you come in here, you have the master bedroom. I'm a little disappointed by this master bedroom. I think they could have done better. It's pretty much equivalent to all the other ones. This one doesn't even have pillows, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't have pillows. Um, I could have a better view. Like, I think this is this room should have a view. Cause it's master bedrooms that you want the view in. Like, it's the bedroom. You like you like looking at the view. It's got this light here. Maybe they should have like a wall that displays like pictures you want. Or I don't know. It's a little Spartan in here too. I don't know. Whatever. Again, you got the same bathrooms as, as the other ones. I mean, they couldn't really have improved on that, so I mean, I think it's great. And then it's almost this is more like a suite because um, on the side you have a kitchen, so this would be like the VVIP suite. Like you, know, you don't have to see anyone if you don't want to. You got your fish tank. There will be fish in these one day, actually, which is pretty cool. And then on the sides you got all these plates. You know, just just a nice suite. Same food prep area as downstairs, so I guess you have like, yeah, ketchup and uh, mustard. You can make what you want, get your beers. I don't know. Just a nice room. And then you're back here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the ship. Let's look up. Oh, there's a backgammon over here, and I think a chess table on the other side. I didn't look at those. They're pretty nice, though. Uh, yeah. Well. That's that, my ladies and gentlemen. Um, don't know too much else to say. We got our ship done. The review's over. Um, some closing thoughts on this ship, though. Um, I think it is beautiful. It is by far the best ship they've made, beauty-wise. It currently has no real function, as there's no VIP um, transport yet. However, I'm certain they'll come at some point. It's it's really not that big. I mean, once they get AI in better, I think they'll they'll just they'll just get made. Um, you need a big crew. That is one thing. You can fly the ship, but the captain only gets access to the missiles, so you need someone at least controlling the remote turrets or the main front turret. And turrets are much harder to use than pilot-oriented guns because it's just turrets. I think they were made much better in a couple pre uh, couple uh, patch couple patches ago, so that's good. Um, Again, like the 600i, it has a lot of open space, especially in this atrium. However, that's really the point of an atrium, is to be open. I think maybe they could have like some big screens or something here, or um, you know, in the pool room, have like a 
more like more like vision like more light because um, light and open space is like the sign of um I think according to uh, what do you call it Ar um, architects is like which shows like status is having a lot of light and open space especially in space because it's very hard to get a lot of open a lot of space in space which sounds like an oxymoron but to make big ships are hard that's why space shells are small and rockets are small because it's expensive so maybe like um, I think in the uh, pool room maybe like adjustable lighting so you can make it bright or like have like a, a like a screen on top that can like simulate a sun or something you know something cool like that um, it is beautiful I think the layout could be organized a little bit better like um two of the rooms are down downstairs two are upstairs like hidden in the pool area and also there's only four guest rooms I think they could have maybe done six that would have made it a little better I think they, they probably could have fit them somewhere um, like back here like in the walls back there I don't know or made them a little bit smaller and fit a couple more I mean there's a lot of again open space um, which is nice it's just it's meant to be a luxury touring yacht but you can really only have four I guess if you double up if you have um, five friends uh, eight friends plus I guess two of the command yeah plus all the crew um, also again no pillows I don't know I thought there were pillows earlier but I guess not I guess you're too rich to have pillows um, anyways I think it's a great ship if you have the money and you don't mind and you want to get it now I think it'll be going on sale soon I never know um, but it is a beautiful ship it's your chance um, just get what you want I can't tell you what to do with your money however if you're looking for something a little bit less um, expensive uh, the 600i is $400 and the Constellation uh, Phoenix is 350 um, the 600i goes on sale quite a lot and it's a beautiful ship and they're gonna be reworking it soon they're gonna be going back and after this ship has been finished they're gonna go back do a little things to it you know make sure it's up to snuff because people did have complaints about the 600i so they might be fixing that up a little hopefully um, maybe make it just a little bit nicer on the inside you know just a little bit more function over four I guess what I'm trying to say but um, if you if you <laughs> if you're looking to get a constellation Phoenix fast um, I do have one for sale um, for 380 bucks you can, I'll link down to my reddit thread um, the trade reddit um, you just go down there hit me up with a PM if, if that's what you want um, yeah it's a beautiful ship I don't really want it anymore that's why I'm trying to get rid of it I need the monies I'm a broke college student <laughs> spent all his money on ships anyways guys um, I'll see you guys later um, I'm Alex and I'll see you all in the verse have a good night bye